When I was five years old, I watched my father push my mother off the balcony. And I locked it away. I buried it. But regardless, I carried it with me for the rest of my life. But you know what? Finally, I guess I understood. My dad, he lost his mind. He lost control. And he let the madness take over. And my brother Michael was the same thing. He was too weak to fight the madness. He just wasn't strong enough to fight it. So he lost control. Now me. I know I got it in my blood. So the point is, I can't allow myself to make mistakes. I can't afford to be wrong. And I can't say I'm sorry. <clears throat> Fear. That's what drives me. Fear. That's all it is, really. It's all it is. That is way too much for one person to be carrying alone. <laughs> well, not alone, I got my wife. I got Kendall. And with her, I can face anything. Kendall, will you no, stop no, this, no, please? no, Aiden, he's slipping away. He's, he's losing no, his strength. No, 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 you're slipping away. You're losing your strength. It's freezing cold out here. You really want to freeze to death? I mean, how much sleep did you have last night? And when was the last time you ate? I don't have time. You have two kids at home. Kendall, all right? They need their mum. All right, they need you. What would Zach say if he was standing here right now? What would he say if he was looking into your eyes? What would your husband tell you to do? just until the snow starts to melt. We go back to the house, all right? We can't see anything because there's so much snow on the ground. And you can't drive home because there's so much ice on the road. Zach is near. He is very near. Listen, I am sure of it. I'm sure. We'll go back to the house, OK? And then we'll decide what to do. If you were programmed to lose your mind, you would have done it already. In here, with me. That's a good point. Well, now that I told you, I, um... Yeah, you're gonna have to kill me. I don't make the rules, honey. What if, uh, mm. what if we took an oath of secrecy? And see that with blood, we can do that. No, Zach. <laughs> no more blood. Come on. Pinky's Let's go. 
You must be thinking of someone else, because I don't do pinkies. No. <laughs> I'm not talking to uh, Sticks over there. You. Pinky swear. Try him. He's got all his digits. He'll I do just, pinky you swear. Know, I, you know, I don't do, do pinky swears with skeletons. <clears throat> I do them with real live pinkies. So let's go. Ante up. Pinky swear. I swear you tell anybody about this, I'll hunt you down. <coughs> you have my oath of silence. Oh, goodness. You and silence that doesn't go together. <laughs> oh. I happen to be excellent at the art of doing a whole lot of talking and saying a whole lot of nothing. I know. My parents taught me. They taught you this. Ramblings yeah. never tell you. <laughs> yeah. Dinner parties, cocktail parties, garden parties, all sorts of soirees. What about after the parties? When the parents left, then what? Sleepovers. Mm. Parents are gone. Just be the servants and the kids and well, you know. I don't know. Wow, well it um late night antics, ear splitting music, crazy experiments in hair, and filled the void. Until the morning when the kids went home. And then? Just some, uh, painful silence. I was not sweet. Never will be. I am what I am. Take it or leave it. Aiden took it. Loved it. Loved me. Just about to get my life all back together. And I got stuck in a hole with a skeleton and a snake. I meant my. Um, I know what you meant. Yeah, the, the antibiotic. It's the pink stuff. Right, um, Ryan, he needs it three times a day. All right, okay, so this is the fifth time I'm telling you. Fine, humor me, please. All right, I'll, um, I'll be home when I can. Bye. 